Today, I've got a very special guest. Hey guys! As you remember, this is my beautiful wife, and today we're going to be making the bounty. For all you guys remember, that's the original bounty, but we're going to make something a lot healthier. So stay tuned! So guys, Paul's promised us a healthier version of the bounty. So, Paul, tell us, how do we do that? Well, I suppose the main thing is that we're going to try and get rid of the yucky sugars, the sugars that are not good for you, so I'm going to use alternatives. The recipes I usually do, they don't make as much, but I really think I'm going to enjoy this one, so I'm going to dump this recipe, so it's really nice. Nice. Do four if you of guys these. haven't um, checked out Paul's Caramel Slice video, it will be linked below. And it is amazing. I reckon out of all the recipes he's made, that has definitely been the winner, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been pretty good. It's really good, that one. And let us know in the comments below if you've tried out any of these recipes, or even hit us up on Instagram, hashtag project87. Right, so up next we've got some coconut flour. We need to do a cup of that, yep. Coconut flour? I haven't tried that yet. Yeah, it's pretty much just coconut. It's just been milled down till it becomes flour. It's just, yeah, it's gluten free. It's perfect. Does it smell? Yes, yeah, so it's really, really mm, good. It does smell nice. It just smells really coconutty, of course. It is coconut. If you guys haven't tried the coconut sugar yet, I thoroughly recommend it. It is definitely a better alternative for sugar. And, like, you know, because sometimes we say, you know, use honey as an alternative, but, um, you know, some people have allergies and obviously vegans don't really want to use honey either. Yeah exactly right and that's that's what coconut we're, sugar. Yeah exactly that's why we're using some rice malt syrup here. Gluten free um, it's just a really good alternative to um, the sugar kind. So what I'm doing I'm just gonna melt a little bit of some coconut oil and that, then that's gonna go in. So while we're waiting for that we can chuck in two tablespoons well, let's make four because that's what we're doing. So we'll do four of those. So guys, have you been enjoying the video so far? Com comment below, down below, and tell us what you think. Hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell for notifications and you'll never miss a video. And if there's anything you want to see us make that is healthy, but you're not quite sure, sorry, that you really enjoy that's not healthy, but you want a healthier alternative, let us know and we will make one. Because we love making alternatives to uh, the good old favourites. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, we really enjoy it. It's just, um, it gives us a chance to find out and discover some more new recipes for ourselves. And yeah, we love uh, just cooking really, really healthy for ourselves. Yeah, and even like um, more savoury stuff, because obviously we do a lot of sweets and raw stuff, but if there's some um, savoury stuff you want to see us do, let us know. All right, do you want to do four of these? Four. Coconut oil. Yeah, yep, four tablespoons. So that's just going in now, and also we're going to get some, try and get two tablespoons of coconut milk. So this is going to be the base of our bounty slice. Uh, we're mixing it all together and we're going to really compact it down below on the bottom of our tip of our, of our uh, base. Also, what do we need? We need two tablespoons of coconut. Yeah, I'll let you uh oh you want me to do it? Yeah no nah, what I'll do I'll get a, a cocoa? Yeah cocoa powder. I'll get a cleaner tablespoon. Yeah I'll let you do it this time. Alright so what we're gonna do is to mix this up until it comes really nice and firm and comes together. Let me bring the camera a bit closer guys. So what kind of consistency are we? Well, what's going to happen, it's going to come like breadcrumbs, but when we compact it down onto our uh, square tray, it's going to come together really nicely. Because the coconut oil is quite soft at the moment, it's going to help combine it. And once it goes into the fridge, what will happen is that the coconut will harden up and it will become really, really hard, the base. It kind of looks similar to that brownie slice we made. It does, that yeah, definitely, yeah. You could use that brownie slice as a base too. You could make it like a chocolatey, chocolatey base here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to flatten this out the best I can. So as you see, I've doubled the recipe, and I think this was 
is this a good idea? It's going to make it perfect for this size uh, baking tray I have. All right, once that's done, pop that into the to the fridge, uh, probably about 20 minutes at least, and yeah, we'll be ready. We're going to make the coconut in the middle bit, and once that's nice and chilled, we're going to chuck that on top. So I'll chuck this in the fridge. Now for the coconut layer, guys. We are going to pretty much put all our ingredients into what, what we have. It's our food process. So what we're going to do, we're going to double this. This is going to be, this is only one lot's worth. So if you're going to pour that into there for me. Into the processor? Yeah, that's it, yep. Oh, shivers. That's all right. That's the three of them? Yep. Then two of the coconut oil. Do two of these. And again, this is going to be our middle layer. And this is just going to be processed until it comes quite smooth and fine. So I'm going to do this in two lots because I'm going to times this recipe by two. Don't forget, I'm going to leave all the ingredients for the recipe down below. So guys, we're just coming over to this uh, processor. You just get it from Kmart actually. 49 bucks, pretty good. All right, so just put it in. You don't need to hold it. Alright guys, so what we've got here, we've got our um, double batch, it is all been processed together and as you can see, it's pretty much just made the coconut a bit finer and it's make it nice and wet and again, what it does, the uh, we've got the malt syrup for the sweetness and the coconut oil, that's going to come together really nicely, it's going to come together really hard once it gets into the fridge as well. So what we can do, the base should be cool enough now, and we're going to uh, put this as our middle layer. Along really, really good. I'm really happy with this. That's looking awesome. Yeah. So what we'll do, scoop this on as our second layer. All right, so what we'll do again, we'll flatten this down. So this is our middle coconut. I think it's the star of the show. We're gonna put this in the fridge for another 10, 15 minutes. I don't reckon it'll take that long at all. So guys, Paul's got some explaining to do. <sighs> some technical issues. What I did, I was doing some slow-mo shots before, and I left the slow-mo record button on our last scene on making the topping. So, we did this, and then we did that. <laughs> and then we did this. <laughs> and then pour it on top. Of course, we'll show you all the ingredients down below, so stay tuned, check out below. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button, button, and also leave some comments, tell us what you want to make, so yeah. So without further ado, what I'm going to do... Further gonna, ado. Oh, I always say that, don't I? For, without, well, actually one time you said, with, without, with further ado, yeah. And I said no, it's without, without further ado. Right. And now he's calling it Jude, so who knows, <laughs> eh? Alright, so without further ado, is that it? Alright, <laughs> I was going to bring it out. I was just making sure. So here we have, guys, out. our end product. Oh, oh, oh. How good is that look? That. You see the shininess? Ooh. It's pretty good. Alright, so now we're going to cut this up and we're going to do a comparison with the actual bounty itself. So, let's see what we come up with. So, we're gonna open this up first and chop that up. And then, Paul's gonna get the Bounty Slice Vegan Healthier Alternative. And we're gonna cut that up and we're gonna compare the two next to each other and then we'll taste test and let yep. you guys know. You wanna chop that one up? We'll have a look to see what it's like. There you go. Yeah. That's what that one looks like. Excuse my nails. I've got my daughter's nail polish on. Sorry for the poor quality. All right, so that's what that one looks like. Okay, so we'll put that aside and Paul will chop up the next bit and we'll see what it's like. So we'll let you guys know. It looks pretty awesome though. I'm just gonna handle it, don't worry guys, I've got washed hands. Ah, oh, look at that. Beautiful. I don't know about you guys, but I reckon this one's looking a lot more fun, more flavorful and exciting. What do you guys reckon? 
So there we have it guys. What we're gonna do is gonna be a video about our taste test. I think I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy both. I know the good old bounty is always a classic, but yeah, here we go. We're gonna have a taste of the good old bounty first. Cheers. Yep, pretty good. All right, and for the best bit that we just made, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it just fell off. That's all right. Jeez. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. I like that. I really enjoyed that. It's got a couple of different extra flavors too. I love the I love the top bit that goes with the with the mineral coconut bit really really well. Because I reckon that the bounty is probably too sweet, but we haven't eaten refined sugars for, well, about uh, 13 months, really. Yeah, now. it's been a while now, so it's, yeah. So to us, that's like, whoa. Yeah. Whew, sugar hit kind of thing. Yeah. Um, of course, the bounty was really nice. Uh, very similar flavors, I reckon. The only real difference is, is the base of this. I reckon that if you did the base of this the same as the top, it would taste pretty much the same, just not as sweet. But more like a dark chocolate taste. Yeah, because this this topping is quite sweet, and um, yeah, it would really definitely if you did that, take the sweetness away, but it'd be really quite close to a real bounty. Yeah, definitely a winner. Yeah. I would totally recommend this one. Um, I reckon that this one probably tastes better than the last stuff that we filmed, the previous video. So yep. honest opinions always, guys. Yep. I would recommend this one way more. Yeah, really good. Yeah, and this has only been out of the fridge for a little bit, so. The longer in the fridge, the harder it's going to get, and it'll, it'll hold them together a lot better. Yeah, definitely recommend it. Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed, guys. Don't forget, of course, to thumbs up, um, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and as usual, I'm going to leave all the ingredients for the recipe down below, and hope you've enjoyed it. Yes. Leave some comments, feedback, just love to know how you get along with it. Yeah, and if you, you know, guys got any suggestions you want to see, any... Um, Gluten free, dairy free. Yeah, because that's what we're really into. Just all the raw alternative yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. And of course, if you've got any like really delicious meals that you love eating but you, you want to watch your weight or you just want to watch your inner health, let us know and we'll cook up an alternative. Yeah. Alright, take care, guys, and I'll see you later. See you guys. Bye.